What's going on guys, Slight Dirt here today, and we're going to be talking about Vision Shaper. Now, if you guys have been enjoying this type of content where I just go over different aspects about the game, such as like oaths, weapons, guns, mechanics, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys wanted me to talk about anything in specific, leave it down like in the comments down below of that specific thing you guys want me to talk about. Be sure to make a video on it and go over it in full, I'm trying to give you guys the best stuff out here. But yeah, let's get into the video. So starting off, uh, Vision Shaper. In my opinion, it is honestly outdated. It's a barely outdated oaf. Originally, it was designed to be pretty hard to obtain as it was an oaf practically gate kept in the depths where you're required to kill owls and corrupted owls to get dark feathers and void feathers. You had to collect these feathers to progress your oaf as Deep Oaken practically continued to update. A lot of oafs became easier and easier to get except Vision Shaper. It, it's gotten slightly easier, but not all that easier. They have clearly been more forgiven towards oafs in layer two than they have in verse one. A prime example of this being Star Kindred, you know, all you have to do is talk to an NPC and then kill a couple of NPCs around the map that are pre-spawned, so, you know, it's just repetition. They're always going to be there. You can't mess it up. Now, Jet Striker, uh, an oath that's literally the easiest oath in the game to get, which is give it the agility and, you know, you do a little race that it's always there. You know, you can't mess it up. Like, it's always going to be there. Finally, but not least, Arc Warder. All you have to do, you know, do the little crying child quest and... Boom, you're getting Arc Warder. Like, it's gonna... Arc Warder? Arc Warder? Whatever. Arc Warder. <laughs> you're always gonna get it. That's the point. Like, it's repetition at the end of the day. You know, unlike these oaths, Vision Shaper pretty much requires you to risk your life in the depths fighting owls, as well as any player that may try to halter your progression. There should be more of a set-in-stone way to get Vision Shaper instead of just RNG spawns and drops. Like, that's kind of horrendous. Another thing that Vision Shaper suffers from is that there's no other oath in this game that has the inability to just get their talent. All right, for Vision Shaper, you have to actively roll a rare talent that's, you know, pretty good in my opinion. You have to actively roll it, unlike other O's that just give it to you for free. I'm talking to you, Jet Striker. You just get all your talents for free. That's not fair. And you know, another thing is that Arc Warder, you get all your talents for free as well. Like, they're just all there. Why, why, why is Vision Shaper, you know, practically fucked over because they need a roll the rare talent to be viable. With that being said, um, a possible rework for Vision Shaper that I'm going to suggest is that instead of killing owls, you know, you're a Vision Shaper, you're like supposed to be, I guess, like friends with them. I don't know the lore, but yeah, you're supposed to like maybe riz up the owl instead of killing them to get, you know, your powers, like stop playing with me. But yeah, instead of killing them, you should be able to find owls that are preset located and around the map. You should be able to toss them if you have a certain amount of charisma and be able to get your talents that way. I feel like that should be the way you progress Vision Shaper. It'll be kind of similar to like the Star Kindred quest, how they have the preset angels, but instead the preset owls around the depths. That, that could be cool. And like for normal players, normal players would just be able to kill the owls. With all this being said, I feel like this will make Vision Shaper progression more in line with the other oaths. And please, devs, if you're going to design an oath, try and stay consistent. Cause I swear, you guys be like being weird with like the way you be making your oaths progression. Like they're all weird. Like, stay consistent. Make everything set of stone or make everything RNG. Not Nothing in between, please. <laughs> yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, just be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And peace.